Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Verity and today we are doing a speed build. We are building a house in Copperdale because, spoiler alert, we're moving Faye and Akira to Copperdale. Mainly because I feel like the neighbourhood they're currently in is a little bit too big. The nanny keeps leaving the baby everywhere, like three miles down the road. This is a bit of a smaller neighbourhood and also I think when you get a toddler you start thinking about schools and stuff and Copperdale is obviously the neighbourhood where the school is so they've moved to an area, well they're going to be moving to an area where the good schools are. So you might notice during this build that I've kind of strayed away from the mint colour but I said in a video last week or the week before that I'm gonna, I find the colours a bit overpowering. So I've made my own rule for the Not So Berry challenge which is the gen that we're currently playing incorporates colours from the next gen into like their house and their clothes and stuff because it breaks it up a little bit and I think that would explain why the next gen chooses that colour. So we're on mint gen at the minute so we're incorporating red slash rose into the mint gen and then for rose gen we're going to incorporate bits of yellow and so on and so forth. I'm also, I'm a bit overwhelmed by the amount of CC that I have in my game, custom content. So I'm, I'm going to keep Faye and Akira as they are but I'm changing Rory the toddler. She's going to just be in-game content and from here on out I'm going to be using much less custom content because I'm just finding it a bit overwhelming. I do like to play with custom content but in a game that I play by myself I don't mind taking it in and taking it out but I think for this series I'm going to dwindle it out a bit and just use skin details, eyelashes, a couple of items of clothing. I really like the creator Clumsy Alien so I'm going to keep their clothes in my game and also script mods like Wonderful Whims MCC that affect gameplay rather than items which are for like build and buy. So as you can see I'm currently working on the landscaping for this house and I've gone with red flowers uh, for the rose gen. I don't think I keep those roses up the side of the wall, I think we go for a trellis in the end. It took me ages to decide on the windows for this house because I was following a, a picture of a house that I'd seen online and we just don't have the windows that that house has in game. So I really love those windows from Get Together. I wanted a lot of light in this house. I really like houses that have large windows. I don't leave the house much so if I can have a large window it's like I'm outside but from the comfort of my own house. The house is very, how do I put it, it's not open plan, closed rooms so the kitchen is separate from the living room and they've got two bathrooms now which is going to be really useful because once Rory is aged up into a child, oh it just gets awful doesn't it when you've got three sims or more three plus sims trying to all use one bathroom and get out of the bathroom I'm on the toilet yeah but your family it does it okay I get it I get it for once in my life as well I've also done an upstairs I as a rule I don't like playing in houses that have more than one level because those sims I can't keep track of them like where are you also I don't know what came over me I think it's because Faye and Akira can't quite afford this house yet so I have decorated, you'll see later on in the video, I've decorated the second bedroom to be toddler themed for Rory in case she is still a toddler when they move in but I do think she might be a child because there's nothing worse than having a toddler in a house and having the toddler's bedroom to be upstairs. I have put a potty and a high chair and stuff upstairs and downstairs but just stay in that one room you you do need to leave if you need a bath or something but toddlers and stairs do not mix they cannot climb the stairs not very well at least um they don't have good movement so we'll see how that goes i was trying to make it so that they could move in straight away and we'll we'll see on friday whether or not they've managed to do that or not but as of now 
I'm quite sure that Faye and Akira do not have enough money to move into this house. Are you seeing how I'm struggling with those blinds? Curtains in this game, curtains and blinds. Can you make a curtain and a blind that just fits the windows? Like, please, please. Oh, and I've used the new pressure cooker thing that we got from the renting together pack for rent because I love that. I have a rice cooker at home and, oh, speaking of my rice cooker, it's on right now. I'm making rice because guess who's making sushi? I'm gonna have sushi for my lunch this week. I'm gonna take it to work. I'm gonna make one sushi roll, cut it in half and I have like half one day and half the next day. How's that gonna work? How do you think that'll work out? We'll find out. I'm looking forward to it though because I made my first ever sushi last weekend and it was amazing i've i went through it took me a long time to like sushi because i've only ever tried supermarket sushi and it's not the one actually and my friend was like let's go to yo sushi we haven't done that yet it's still we're, we're planning yo sushi it's on the cards but I got a sushi pack from the Asda and it was actually really nice and they've got like the Yo Sushi counters at Sainsbury's and Tesco and Asda so I have, I, I do, I do frequent that quite, quite a lot but I must say the sushi that I made at home last weekend was top tier, never had anything like it, I kind of wish I was Japanese. But what's really exciting about that is once I've mastered sushi, which you're meant to eat at room temperature, I can start making kimbap, which is the Korean version of, well, it's not the Korean version of sushi because you can have like egg and like meat in there with like kimchi and stuff. and that's meant to be eaten a little bit warm so oh, just imagine my life when i've mastered sushi and i'm able to eat korean kimbap love love that because i love korean food if you didn't know i am currently learning to speak korean not going well don't ask how it's going it's not going well i've been learning how to speak korean since about 2019 I think and you'd have thought during like the pandemic and everything when I was furloughed for six months I'd have nailed that but no I have an actual tutor I was teaching myself in 2019 um up until probably oh well it was about this time last year I got an actual tutor and oh, she was dead nice loved her and she taught me really well and i passed my korean exam speaking writing reading and listening and then the second semester started in september this year and I, it was a different teacher and i just i couldn't vibe with her and she thought i knew more korean than i did and i had to quit so hopefully, either the end of this month or the beginning of March, I will sign up again to continue my Korean lessons and it'll be a different teacher to the one from September. Lovely, lovely lady. Very, very nice lady. Just not good for me as a teacher. If you know Vezi, then you know. But back to the build, it looks like we're currently on the living room and it's a bit smaller than I would like. I like large living spaces where the camera can just slide in there and I don't have to worry about anything getting in the way. It might be a bit tricky to film in here, but hopefully they're not going to be spending much time in there because all that's in there is a TV. And if my Sims are going to sit and watch TV like I do every evening, then it's not going to be a fun game to watch. I am also here remembering that I wanted to incorporate red into the build. So here you'll see me start to do that a bit more. I thought they would need an office for, obviously Akira is some kind of internet guy is he a programmer he does the career that came with city living don't know stop asking me I, I don't know but Faye also likes to troll the forums but also when Rory is a child slash teenager she's gonna need to use the internet for like homework and stuff so what else can we talk about I went to Chester yesterday if you watched my speed build on I think it was my sushi build I said that I was going wedding dress shopping with my sister and we did that yesterday five of us went 
and oh, it was a really nice day actually we went to Chester on the train only takes about 20 minutes to get to Chester on the train who'd have known and she said yes to the dress I'm not going to show you it but I have shown everyone else literally everyone in the world has seen that wedding dress apart from Mothman who my sister is marrying I wasn't sure at first but we added some bits to it and yeah I guess that is her wedding dress it, it's very her um, we went to this place called the church for lunch afterwards and I had like this tapas thing it was three for 16 pounds and I had a cheesy garlic bread pizza thing some chicken tenders with barbecue sauce and these sausages in a honey and balsamic glaze and they were amazing i guess we should talk about the build some more though so like i said at the beginning rose jen is going to incorporate yellow into her rooms and style and everything so we've gone yellow and red for this room and i thought this wallpaper it's not childish it's it's it will do for her when she's a child we're decorating for, because who's going to decorate a room from when someone is a toddler to a child well usually me but not this time oh but i just remember something else from chester we went um to this little cafe before we went wedding dress shopping and i'd already had a coffee so me and sue had tea and they bought it out and it was really really cute it was on a little wooden like tray with like a teapot and a little tiny bottle of milk and then the cup it didn't have a handle and i've never felt like such a little asian lady before a little japanese lady a little korean lady drinking my tea with both hands i love that i'm gonna buy some handleless teacups because i did feel very special this room i really enjoyed decorating because phase materialistic right and I just think, I, I filtered by the Modern Looks kit. I just, that build, that kit is perfect for Faye. It's just got this elegance to it that is like, what a materialistic sim would enjoy, I think. So everything from that kit, mostly, literally nearly everything from that kit, apart from like the wall TV, is in this room. It was very easy to build, but I think it, goes together really nicely and i also need to remember i've put quite a lot of clutter in this house but i've left a lot of space for things they already have at home like they'll have their birth certificate for rory and like a little handprint and all the phase collectibles she needs to bring her element rack across um akira's got some things that he got from promotions and that he stole from his old roommates i need to bring ignatio across um but i have cluttered this house quite a lot because i think clutter says lived in i'm saying that as if i remember to take a picture of the infant when rory was an infant i said we need to take a picture of the infant repeatedly and i never once did it we need to take a picture of rory as a toddler we must so there's about three minutes left of this video now and if you've made it this far congratulations comment down below which room is your favorite of all the ones that we've decorated today and uh, i guess there's a bathroom left but is the bathroom going to be your favorite room if it is me and you need to have a little chat because oh i've spent a lot of time in the bathroom this morning i dyed my hair i dyed my hair bright orange for halloween last year and i loved it and then for christmas i dyed it like bright red and then after christmas in the new year i think i mentioned it before but i cut it all off i cut it like it's a bob now and I love it it matches my season perfectly but the red was it looked good when it was a little bit grown out and my roots were coming through it looked like intentional but it got a little bit too much um so i've dyed it again it's burgundy now um there isn't a burgundy not so berry gen is there but there's a plum which is very similar and i think plum gen is maybe gen five or six and plum generation is a very difficult generation like how many skills do i have to max i don't care if i can pick them myself that's a lot of skills that i have to max and i 
plum gen scares me basically but yeah i spent a lot of time this morning in the bathroom because i'm a dye my hair at home girly always have been i'm a do everything to my hair at home girly to be honest i cut it myself when i get the chance i will shave it myself when if i could give myself a little mullet i would but i just i wouldn't know where to begin if anyone wants to give me a mullet comment down below and yeah it's about this time in the build that i remembered that we own a cat um maybe a little bit before this i'm a bit behind you guys i remembered about the general and i was like he needs some stuff i've bought in the cute litter box i bought it in red and i just couldn't find anywhere to put a cat tree so he's got a lot of scratching posts everywhere but he's probably gonna hate it the general sleeps on the deeds to this house i imagine like my own cat mr Mr. Little Sir does. But yeah, we're just doing the the landscaping now, finishing off the last bits of, of terrain paint. And that is the video complete. How lovely. If you've enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you on Friday for the next episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Bye.